Hey, what's up everyone, Ollie here. So, in this video, I wanted to cover a refurbished M1 MacBook Air. So, I actually got this for my new assistant. You can't see him, he's sitting just off camera here, but I got this for my new assistant. Um, he'll be using it as his main machine, just to help me sort of with the videos. He's almost like a channel producer, you could say in a way. And we thought, hey, what, what's the point of going for a brand new M1 MacBook Air when Apple have refurbished ones? So we went for this one, it was 849, usually they go for 999, so making like a 150 saving, which is pretty good. I um, want to basically take you through the unboxing experience, show you the box, show you what the MacBook is like, and how it differs from a brand new MacBook Air if you were to buy one from Apple. So let's get into it. Right, so when you get a refurbished product from Apple, there is no image on the front. You only have the product name and then you have a little tagline on the bottom that says Apple Certified Refurbished. But the box itself is pretty much exactly the same. If we unpeel it, not gonna lie, it's satisfying. There we are, we have the wrapping off. And if we lift it up, Okay, so as I mentioned, we got this one for 849. This is the M1 MacBook Air from sort of late 2020. Uh, has eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, um, and that's it. It's pretty much base spec. I think it has also the eight core CPU and the eight core GPU. So yeah, the MacBook obviously comes in its plastic wrapping, but we'll get to that in a second. In the box, we get the standard documentation that you'd expect. We go into this. Do we get any Apple stickers? No Apple stickers. Actually, no, there is Apple stickers. Oh, nice. There's actually some space gray ones in the box, which is pretty nice. And then we have the charging brick. So this is the smaller charging brick. I think it is a, it's a 30 watt charging brick. We have the adapter, of course. We'll leave those in there for now. And you, of course, get a USB-C charging cable as well. And that's pretty much it in the box. There is nothing else to see. Okay, so one thing I did quickly forget to mention was that the, all of the accessories that we just unboxed, they're all pretty much brand new. They're not used at all. They're all brand new from Apple. Um, but if we have a look at the MacBook itself, this pretty much looks brand new. If we look at what it actually says, it says here when looking at the website, that Apple products undergo full functionality testing. So any defective modules are identified and replaced with genuine Apple parts a thorough inspection and cleaning process. The device is repackaged, including any necessary manuals, cables, new boxes, etc. And then finally, it goes through a quality assurance inspection prior to being added to the actual website itself. So if we unbox this and have a look, well, if we unwrap it, that is, have a look at it. So, I mean, it looks pretty much brand new. There isn't a single mark on the machine. I mean, there's actually a little bit of a scratch there. It's hard to see, but a tiny little scratch. But it looks brand new. As I've done other Apple refurbished videos in the past, I've mentioned how good their refurbished products are and how they pretty much look brand new. This really does look absolutely brand new. I can't actually tell that it's been used. As I said though, there are, is that a scratch there? I don't think so. Yeah, it is actually, just a little mark there and a little mark there. But really these marks are absolutely tiny. They're not even really anything relevant unless you're actually really looking for them. It really doesn't matter. If we open it up, oh nice. We still actually get the film that goes over the screen and it's automatically booting up. Again, it just looks brand new. It's, it's, it's really hard to tell. When looking at the keyboard and everything and looking at the trackpad, yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely fresh. So another thing to also consider when you actually buy a refurbished product from Apple is that you do get the ability to buy Apple Care with your refurbished product. If you buy a refurbished product from elsewhere like Amazon or from just any other website, they won't usually be valid for Apple Care, So that's pretty good to know. So if you're someone who maybe considers themselves a bit clumsy or just wants that extra protection when it comes to obviously spending a lot of money on Apple products, you can get Apple Care and make sure that you're covered. Right, so that was the unboxing experience of the MacBook Air. 
And like, like I've just shown you, it's literally exactly the same. I actually have my M1 MacBook Pro here, which I've been using for the last year. And it's the one thing that I always just rave on about to anyone and everyone who's looking for a new machine right now. If you're someone who is just doing sort of everyday web browsing, word sort of processing, Excel documents, things like that, and the odd sort of photo editing, video editing, actually I say photo editing, video editing. I do all of my photo and video editing on the M1 MacBook Pro and I have no issues whatsoever. I'm recording, like I've said before, 4K 10-bit footage, 422 footage from my Sony A7S III and I edit all of that on this M1 MacBook Pro. So I wouldn't be surprised if the M1 MacBook Air can do exactly the same because it only has one less GPU core. So it's probably a tiny, tiny little bit slower. Really not gonna be a big difference. But I think if you're looking for a, a, a sort of everyday machine with amazing battery life, that's another thing to mention. The battery life on these machines is just insane. You can easily go a day, no problem. If you're looking for a high quality machine, but you don't wanna get it brand new, consider a refurbished one. Look at Apple's refurbished section. They always have different colors as well and they're always changing stock. So if you don't find it today, you might find it tomorrow because when we were looking for this one, the first day we were looking, they didn't have them in stock. And then the next day they had it and we just snapped it up and we got it pretty much two days later. So yeah, highly recommend the Apple refurbished section of their store if you're looking to save some money and get a Mac that pretty much looks brand new. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.